A number of years ago, a nurse in an intensive care ward at the uh, district hospital in Kalichikan in on Vancouver Island observed an intense light shining in out in the hall from a patient's room. Now the patient at that time should have been resting with the lights off, and the nurse thought that the, somebody had left the lights on, and she went down to the room to turn the light off. Then she realized on entering the room that the intense light was coming in the window. So she walked over in the intentions of drawing the drapes. When she looked out, hovering at eye level, within 80 feet from her building, because it was between an, a, the children's wing of the same hospital, was a hovering UFO. She reported that she was stared in amazement and was mesmerized. She said, this object was hovering there and it contained two creatures. And she said, one sitting behind the other. She said, the one sitting in the rear turned slowly and looked directly at her. Then that creature reached forward, placed his hand on the creature sitting in front, and the creature in turn reached down and moved the lever. She was questioned closely about this. And she said she could see the interior of the craft, and when he reached down and moved that le lever, the vehicle tilted, and she could see a greater area of this craft. She said inside she could see some sort of a control panel, and these two humanoids were sitting on tall stools, like a child's seat. Then the craft started moving slowly away, and then she realized she should get other witnesses, and she yelled to the other nurses on duty, and they came running down the corridor. Unfortunately, the one just saw the light moving off in the distance, and another nurse ran down, I believe it was into a small washroom that had a, a window that had a view of the area where the object was disappearing, and she saw the light disappearing in the distance also. Now here's a, a nurse, I'm not sure, would be quite competent in observing something of this nature and reporting it. This is one case that's happened out in BC, and other cases have been reported across Canada.